Every guy upon turning 16 has to choose a competitive shooter to build their personality around. And so it happened that for my boyfriend it was a battle royale that doesn't pretend to be an overcomplicated Minecraft and doesn't have years of guides and tutorials on every step you should take. A game which combines a perfect amount of skill-based mechanics and just enough hot characters and lore to satisfy that part of the community. Welcome to the Apex Games! Chevy's relationship with Apex started way earlier than his relationship with me. It goes all the way back to first season, so of course when he first introduced me to such a cornerstone of his personality, my reaction was... Time to bring the fun! I encourage this. But as it goes with battle royales, when it comes down to the question, is it fun to play Apex, the answer is obvious. I'm hurt that you even have to ask. No, of course it's not fun to play it. And the more we tried to play it competitively, the less fun it became. We got more skilled people as our opponents, the game overall started to feel more like a job, and before we could realize it, we ended up drowning in Apex depression. Go, in and out, 20 minutes adventure. Look at this shit! Why do you keep doing this to us? I don't know, Morty, maybe I hate myself, maybe I think I deserve to die, I, 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 don't, I don't know! <laughs> but this time is different. This time, EA did something that neither me or my boyfriend expected. They made Apex Legends fun again. Three Strikes is a limited time game mode with general Apex BR rules, which include looting, shooting, and reviving or dying. I died, I died, I died. Where are you going? I cannot stop flying! What it differs in though is the fact that down players can't be killed anymore, and revives take just a second, which in turn leads to incredibly lengthy and intense fights. Help, 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 lifeline, 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 And even if the entire squad somehow dies, it's not the end, as you get three chances to respawn with most of the items you had when you died, and drop on your enemies for a rematch. Let's go kill them. Let's do same. No. Knock two. Same. The whole gameplay loop feels way more like a mix between BR and Team Deathmatch. And since my idea of fun in Apex can best be described as sitting three miles away from an enemy taking pot shots at them. This is my favorite part. Exciting! I had to adapt my skills to the close range engagements. <laughs> in fact, his sniping skills are just written in disguise and a pathetic excuse to stay half map away from any battle. He's hiding in a corner, he's not mixed out, he's not even moving, he's hiding in a corner, fucking bitch. But this time limited event woke up his hunting instincts and showcased them well that there are two rats inside of him. One that wants to hide and loot safely. Go away from my package. <laughs> Stop taking everything! <laughs> Stop! You not goblin! And one that has rabbits and will run and bite everything on its way. Sucky. Yes, suck ass, Alan. Having the possibility to be quickly helped mid-combat and re-engage with new strength gave us both a powerful confidence booster. But all that performance boost. You need a performance booster, old man. Don't judge me. I'm an old man, I need that. But even in the moments when we were in the pickle, I had a trump card up my sleeve. 
unlike Chevy with his waiting and mind games, I am an adept of accuracy by volume of fire philosophy, and this season couldn't be any better for my playstyle. Not only Respawn woke up one day and decided that they don't want to have recoil in the game anymore, they also made L-Star, one of the best spray and pray guns in the game, a common floor loot, significantly changing the understanding of floor inspection for me. I want L-Star, he will star. Yep, I think that goes into the pocket. Combining these two things made me look way more like a threat to our enemies. Behind. The racing. Come to me. Legend! <laughs> You fucking clutched this shit! <laughs> well, at least up until the moment I run out of ammo and start complaining about it. I think I hear stomps. Where? Yeah, on top. Don't, 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 don't rush in. I need ammo. Okay, maybe a, a bit rush in. I rush in a bit. <laughs> Tiny bit of rush. Speaking of complaints, let me bring up some of the gripes I have with the game. The biggest one is the fact that 3 Strikes is a limited time game mode, and knowing Respawn most likely won't be present forever, despite how fun it is. Next thing is the fact that this season was probably the buggiest season I've seen in a long while. While playing we had issues ranging from not necessarily game breaking, but still quite annoying UI bugs. <laughs> yeah, I shot my Peacekeeper quite well at this moment. <laughs> to literally having no players in our lobby. No, wait, th this was legit a lobby with one player. The fuck was that? And this somehow? I glitched through the roof. <laughs> I glitched through the roof, I think. And last but not least, ranked is still broken. You're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. We don't care about ranks anymore. As thanks to the writing season, I was able to get both of us master ranks that we definitely don't deserve. If I... But if you do care about ranked, well, sucks to be you. But despite being grumpy and bitter about the game, Chevy still can't stop playing it. And no matter how bad I am with my MMORPG aim, or how tired he might be from carrying my sorry ass up from my well-deserved wooden rank. Oh, bullet, that's not very smart of you. You're not that smart. Not as smart as you think, at least, with that placement. We will anyway want to pop in for a new season, as long as EA will keep feeding us with Nessie easter eggs. From the beginning, it was Nessie who wanted me there. Nessie? You wanted Nessie? I wanted Nessies. Aww. Apex for me is a good example of how to make a game that doesn't punish you for simply taking a break. And it feels nice to have this sort of friendship with benefits relationship with it, where we can just hop in and have fun with no hard feelings. But if you prefer commitment over episodic fun, Apex will demand a lot of your time and effort before you'll feel any positive change. The learning curve is quite harsh. The servers are erratic. And even if you are good at the game, it doesn't guarantee that you won't be grouped with someone like me. Nice old ballistic. Ballistic is me. <laughs> so if you ask me if it's fun to play Apex Legends, I would say yes, maybe, but only as a casual experience, or if Respawn will for once listen to their players and keep 3 strikes mod active forever. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, do your thing. And we will continue working on a new one. See ya!